Hello, I am the Ronin Pawn, and this is Out There Omega Edition. The game I said, we've seen enough of this on the channel, not going to do any of that anymore. Don't worry, people. Out There is done on the Ronin Pawn channel. Oh god, what was that sound? That was the sound of me running out of fuel. Welcome back to Out There Omega. I have managed to get a very long way in this game, which is why I'm bringing you up. Look, we've got a little blue marker over here. I don't know what the blue marker is about, but I've, that's probably the furthest I've ever gotten in the game, is getting to one of the markers that are given to you. So let's take a look at the ship. As you can see, I have every single technology that has ever existed. <laughs> Not quite. But I have a lot of them. Um, we've got the Tau Stasis, which uh, helps me jump farther, I believe. We've got a Shield Generator and a Thermal Resonance Generator, which, um, you know, makes me almost invulnerable to damage. Um, we've got not only the Drill, but the Planetary Expander, which I think I just got, so I haven't played with that too much. We've got the Interferometer, which tells me what is around a planet before I go there and check this out. If you haven't seen the Interferometer, it is necessary. It is necessary to know that there's going to be a garden planet over there, or there's going to be gas giant. Okay, there will be fuel there when I go. You've almost got to have it in the later part of the game. Um, but here we are. I've just come into a, uh, what is this, two gas giants and a garden planet sector? Cool. So I'm out of fuel. Wow, I'm out of fuel. Oh my god. No, I've got the helium. I've got the helium. Thank god I've got the helium. Let's head to the first of these two gas giants and see what we can pull up with the probe. Wait, 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 Ronan Pawn. Before you pull anything up with the probe, drop your helium in. I hate putting all my helium into the tank, but it didn't even fill me up. So that's all my helium. Now let's refi refill the tanks. I have started drilling for five as opposed to six or seven at this point because it tends to give me a better idea of what's going to be in there and work out for me in the long run, except for when I, um, when I then have to trade off my gold for hydrogen. Listen, fuel is very important in this game. I don't want to be lost. Now, I brought back 10 helium with that drill, so I'm going to drill for five again and bring back five helium. Do you think it paid for itself? Hells to the yeah. And it also saved me some time in terms of drilling. Oh, crap. That was a huge waste. That was a huge waste. I spent three fuel in order to get one and one. I could have done that with one. Okay, so, you know, I, I haven't gotten any better at the game, so it's just pure luck that's gotten us this far. Stay with me, everyone. Stay with me. We're going to beat it right here, right now, today, or not. Actually, from where we are right now, it'll probably take me six more episodes or something, but I thought I'd bring it along just in case, um, you know, things work out for me. So we got a lot of fuel there, and there could be more fuel here. Should we go over there and get more fuel, or go straight and talk to the aliens? Let's get more fuel. More fuel sounds like a brilliant thing, Ronan Pawn. Throw all of your helium, helium, okay, because in case I get more helium back, I want to have room in the stack. So, probe for five. Five is a good number, loving the five. And it's just, it's just hydrogen. Well, you know what? I don't walk away from fuel at all anymore. Hydrogen? Sure, love hydrogen. I'll sit here all day and drag one hydrogen out of a sun. That's the only way that I've gotten to this point and gotten all this technology and all those things is by being miserly, stingy, as it were, in everything that I do in this game. Okay, top that off, and then, did, did I say? Did I say? I don't walk away from hydrogen. I don't walk away from nothing, okay? I'm stranded in this in this metal, this little tugboat in space. It's actually, like, probably the best ship that you can get in the game. Uh, I happen to have had, had to throw all the humans out into space, so violent decompression for my survivors of Earth, but, um, hey, one of us has got to live, and it's going to be me. Let's go to the garden planet and talk to some aliens. Yes, land. Um, the breathable atmosphere has given me oxygen. That's okay. I had a stack. I didn't need that. You can keep the oxygen. No, 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 no. I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't want to take all your oxygen. No, no. You need your oxygen. Keep your oxygen for yourself. Grandma, I don't need the money. It's f okay. I'll take the money. Thank you, Grandma. Encounter life. I've never seen this. This is an on onion man. You are an onion man. Hello, onion man. Please be sweet and not spicy. Um, run our people rock bar. Okay, so the rock bar are him. So something people rock bar. People rock bar fear God. People rock bar fear you. You God. People rock bar run our Omega. Oh, 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 did I get an Omega? I didn't have a slot for an Omega. I got nothing. Because I didn't have an open slot for an Omega. Damn it. But everything that I'm carrying is valuable, not as valuable as an Omega. Damn it. Damn it, okay, no, I haven't screwed anything up. We're still fine, we're still fine. Not everything has gone to hell and to crap. By the way, what other technology could I be making right now? Um, anything that I haven't already installed? Uh, yeah, no. No, I have every single piece of technology that I know how to make installed, so I don't really need the thorium or the tungsten. Keep the thorium in the tungsten ball. Don't throw it out. Gave it, hang on to it. We're not even going to drill here. Screw this planet. This planet is, is balls. I don't like this planet. It's full of testicles. 
very droopy as well. Okay, so we've done everything we can here. Where are we going now? Well, we're going toward... I guess to the blue one. I don't know what the blue one is. I don't know if that's the enemy base or if it's something I don't I don't remember. It's been so long. So there's a garden planet there. There's a there's gas giant so we could get more fuel there as we pass by. There's a black hole if I had an omega. Okay, wow, the only place where I'm gonna be able to get fuel for the next couple of jumps is over there. What about if I get over there? Ooh, okay. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. We jump to the anomaly. Right, and I've got fuel to refill us, then we can get over to those two gas giants. That's what we'll do. We're down to 20 fuel. Brilliant, Pawn. I love you. You're not going to get us all killed. Day 324. Fascinating. There's a space station hiding in a low orbit of this star. Somehow, it appears completely immune to the flares and stellar eruptions that wash over it. I'm quite tempted to explore the station, but I'm not sure my ship would survive getting that close to the star. I've got so much shield stuff. We'll be fine. I calculate a course that minimizes my exposure to the star's fury. I rocket down towards the station. Suddenly, an unexpected stellar filament lashes outward from the star. I fly at top speed towards the station, hoping it will protect me. The hole cracks under the thermal pressure, and I fear I will not make it in time. The filament crashes over me, but somehow, I survive. I dock with the station and explore it. Not a soul aboard, as usual. I do discover the station's secret. A highly efficient shield powered by the star itself. I can't take it with me, as the station would collapse, but I thoroughly document the technology. I carry out some repairs before returning to space. The ship has taken 20 damage, but I got a Floyd, v Floyd fuck whoa, don't say that, a Floyd fluctuation projector. I can say that because it's not, it's just in, it's part of the word. <laughs> I didn't really need that. Oh my god, it's another ship. It's another ship. I have the bestest ship in all, all of all, all the things. I'm gonna drop this, ooh. We should go see that ship first. Listen, I've got enough fuel to get us to the next space. Let's go see what this ship is. Maybe it's something I've never seen, but it's something I've never seen before. Oh my god, look at the power in the ecosystem. I've got better resistance, but look at the power in the ecosystem. Um, it's actually better than my ship. Okay, what's, how much space do you have? Not a lot. Not a lot. Oh man, it's a ship I've never had before that I'm going to be walking the hell away from, Ronan Pawn. Just walk away from it after, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna top off the ship, just gonna, you know, patch us up from that damage we took from the, um, solar filament there, and, um, yeah, go ahead and throw the fuel in. Yep, just burn that fuel, shovel that into the, uh, the old coal hole. Is that what they call it? The coal hole. Yeah, that's it. Um, and, uh, let's also steal everything from this ship, because I'm not taking it with me platinum. I'm not gonna be able to take you. I don't have room for you. Fair, fair, uh, fi, fi, we got some fi, and some more fi. Okay, loving the fi. Oh, look, fi! Lots of fig here. What do you give me? Silicon. I've got a whole freaking stack of silicon. So transfer everything, all of it over. I've got platinum, silicon, and you know, thank you for the platinum. Thank you for the platinum. Yeah, I'm just gonna go without it. No, nope, don't need it. I'm fine. I got all the technologies in the world, except for that one that I haven't built yet. What is it? The void fluctuation projector, which I could make right now with tungsten and thorium, and it would make me even more resistant to things. There is no resist. Yeah, why not? Why not? Because you're running out of space, Rodan Pong. You shouldn't do this. Listen, I want all the equipments that I can possibly have. And I've been carrying around thorium and tungsten for ages, hoping that we would survive, and we have. Okay, time to go and get um, the fuel from the double gas, double rocky area, and then we'll be one jump away from the blue thing. We'll get to find out in this episode what the blue thing is. I don't know. <coughs> Her? <coughs> it's, um, <coughs> clearing out the old larynx. The last space folding didn't go well. I got too close to a star. Now, the surface of a star is not that hot, around 5,000 Kelvin, but just below it goes up to one million. I made it out, but the photonic winds have badly scratched my ship. Yeah, not that badly, because I've got a void, a, a void fluctuation projector. Oh good, the, the enemies are just on that piece of crap planet that I don't care about at all. Can I get to one of these without? No, I can't. Throw some more fuel in the ship, a little bit more fuel, a little bit more, a little bit more, and over to the gas giant. The, the one nearest the sun sounds fun to me. Probe it for... wait, wait, is there anything that you can use up so that you have an extra slot? Because the ladies like the slots. No, it's the men who like the slot. We need a slot, is all I'm getting at. Let's drop some... There's no reason to drop oxygen in. Yeah, I don't have... No. There's no... There's nothing. Just... Just probe it. Probe it like... Like... Like she wants it. What? I don't... Probe it like it's 1999. Hey, good! We brought back just hydrogen! That kind of works out in terms of hull space. Doesn't work out in terms of, you know, fueling the ship. Let's drop all of that in immediately. 
and continue drilling the hell out of this thing because I do need all the fuel possible. So we got 14 back. I'm going to drill for five again. Bring back seven. And from here on out, I think I'm just going to one and one it. Just give me one. One and one and one and one. Now that I have um, started doing this, um, I remember my first playthrough saying, I, I don't want them to ever integrate so that you can just, um, you know, click and it'll automatically drag out one at a time. I, I would, I would like that. I wouldn't mind that. If somebody wants to figure out how to mod this game and put that in, there's a lot of this involved in my particular playstyle, and I don't know how there's any other playstyle that you could survive it out there with, unless you were dragging every single molecule of fuel out of every single thing that you come across. A cost. It's a Vloid Fluctuation Projector. Shut up. Um, so yeah, there's all the fuel from that one. Now let's go to this one and get more fuel. Please, let there be like hydrogen and helium and just all the things. Just make sure that your ship is empty. I do have a slot and still not really a lot of... I don't want to throw all my fit in. I don't want to throw, throw all your fit in. Throw it in. Goodbye, fit. We'll have to stop at that one um, unoccupied uh, drillable planet on the way out. But first we get helium and hydrogen! That didn't work out the way I'd hoped. Four? Ah, oh, that was a waste. That was a waste. You always want to get one for one, at least. Okay. One and one. See, at this point, it's just kind of like, uh, it's a time waster, is what it is. It's like you're trying to drill for the most efficient thing just since so you don't have to do this over and over and over again. Just fine. It's fine. It's, you know, this is, you're surviving in space. This is truly a survival game. And uh, if you're going to survive, you better be doing what I'm doing right now. I'm going to drop all that hydrogen in there. I am out of iron entirely. I wanted to go to this thing. It cost me 10 to get there, and then some to get down, and then some to get back up, and then we've still got to make that jump of 30-some to the other place. But if we go there and we don't have iron, that could be an issue. So I'm going to take the slight major risk of spending 14 just to get down here, drilling it for just three. Three, and bring back a little bit of iron, and drill again for just a little bit more iron at six for seven. Yeah. Hey, I need some iron in my pockets, okay? Just in case things break down. You've always got to have some iron. So that was not great, but it was necessary. And what's here? What's here? I can see it, right? It's all rocky. We can't go there or else we won't come off of it. There's a gas giant right next door, though. Please be helium and hydrogen because I need it. It's going to cost me 35 to get there. If you don't give me 35 back, then this has been a complete and utter waste. Red Dwarf, don't screw me over. Live on YouTube. It's pre-recorded and edited. Shut up. Come on, Red Dwarf. Come on! The reactor was shaking badly. I determined that some internal component must have broken down. I opened the housing to check it out and was suddenly deluged with hot fuel. I fixed the problem, but I lost a lot of fuel in the... I am out of fuel suddenly in this game has just taken away all of my fuel. I won't have fuel in order to drill even if we can risk it to get to that planet. I have nothing. All of a sudden we were one jump away. Orbit, yes, go for it. Out of fuel and I'm totally screwed and boned and hosed and mother crapper. I'll tell you what that is. That is a Vloid fluctuation condenser something. That I just got Vloid fluctuated in the condenser, baby. I am the Ronin Pawn! That was my best run ever. It ended in death right before the blue mark. Porn out. I love this game. <laughs>